Hey crypto family, so a very good day today for Bitcoin and the altcoins. Bitcoin's up almost 3% today to $8,096. And then all of the other altcoins, especially Litecoin, is up 13% to over $100. That's huge. And then a lot of the other altcoins are up a couple percent and some even double digits as well. So again, this is great to see that with Bitcoin, altcoins are rising as well. And it's, hopefully if you held some of your altcoins, you are seeing some nice returns today. But looking at the Bitcoin analysis for the daily chart. So I mentioned that we're going to flow between this range of 8400 to about $7,300 level. Right now, I'm not really touching Bitcoin, just waiting to see if we break out above this resistance or break down below the support. Now you can see the RSI again has leveled out around that 60 level and then the longs and shorts are steadily increasing. So if you look, the shorts have actually leveled out just a little bit while the longs are continuing to increase. So a lot of people getting more confident now as Bitcoin's nears its 8400 resistance. Again, it did hold this 50 day moving average and it is showing a positive sign. We may find some temporary resistance around this 8200 level. We'll see if we can break that, but again, Right now, I'm just waiting to see if we can have the volume to push above this 8400 resistance. It's it's going to be hard to see since we've tested this already three times and have failed to break above it. But again, anything could happen. As we know, Bitcoin is very unpredictable, so we're going to see what happens. And if you're thinking about buying or what to do, I recommend just holding, waiting for this to break out or to break down because right now it's just too uncertain. Now, the first article we're talking about today is regarding Facebook. And again, I know I've talked about Facebook in a couple of my past videos. This one is regarding actually what they're doing with their project Libra that I have been mentioning. So it says Facebook to roll out global coin cryptocurrency in 2020. It says the news and broadcasting organization said on Friday that Facebook is planning to launch the cryptocurrency based payment system in a dozen countries by the first quarter of 2020 and is looking to start trials by the end of the year. Facebook has also apparently sought for advice from officials of the U.S. Treasury and Bank of England Governor Mark Carney regarding opportunities and regulatory issues for the initiative, which is referred to as Project Libra. Now, again, Facebook is trying to basically have this stable coin, and they want to use it as kind of an incentive for people to view ads on their platform. So, for example, they'll pay users to view ads, and they'll pay users in this global coin. That's what they initially wanted to do. Now it's very similar to the Brave browser in that if you use the Brave browser, you don't have ads, but there's only very specific ads that'll pop up. And if you view them, then you do get Brave token, a percentage of it. So this is kind of similar initiative, except Facebook is using its own platform for people to view ads on and just kind of its own way to make money and to incentivize users. Now, the funny thing is they're also working, trying to work with Gemini and Coinbase. So the Gemini exchange, as you know, is owned by the Winklevoss twins who actually sued Mark Zuckerberg for stealing their Facebook idea. And it's funny now that he's trying to work with them because they're a regulated exchange and he sees his stable coin could have a lot of benefit with that. And also working with Coinbase, that's also a regulated exchange. So he's trying to really spread his outreach for both of these different exchanges and increase the majority of his stable coins. So again, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with this and it says, Facebook could be seeking to raise as much as $1 billion to fund the crypto stablecoin project. So again, I don't know why these companies always aim for $1 billion, why they need that much money. In reality, I know they don't. It's just a big cash grab. And I still know people are going to buy it because it's Facebook, but we'll have to see what happens and if they do follow through with this towards the end of this year and the beginning of next year. Now, this next article is by usethebitcoin.com. And it says Binance Crypto Exchange ready to launch margin trading for users. Now, anyone that likes to margin trade knows how big of a deal this is because right now BitMEX is the main exchange that people use for margin trading. But if you live in the United States, you can't use it. It's outlawed. So it's outlawed in actually a couple countries and only specific countries can use it. So Binance actually had a tweet the other day and they tweeted dark mode or light mode. Well, right now it looks like it's just basically the platform that they're asking about. But if you look below, you can see here, there's a tab for margin trading. And it says margin trading confers a higher profit potential than traditional trading, but also greater risk. Please be aware that in the event of extreme market volatility, there's even a risk that your assets may be liquidated. So that's what they were going towards whenever they were asking for dark or light. But again, this article mentions that they could soon be launching it and Right now, the exchanges that offer margin trading, Polynex, BitMEX, and Kraken, but Polynex and Kraken aren't really competitive in the margin trading aspect. Again, it's mostly BitMEX. So it'll be interesting to see when this does roll out 
And again, margin trading is a great way to make money, but I urge it is very, very risky. I do not recommend trading over 5X leverage, um, depending on what Binance allows. You know, I know Japan allowed only two to 4X leverage. They lowered that to keep it safer for new investors. But again, who knows, Binance could offer 100X leverage just like BitMEX does, but I do not expect them to do that. I expect it to be lower leverage, maybe 10X at the max. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment if you have any questions, and please subscribe. Again, love all my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.